3D printing is fairly new to paleontology. It allows scientists to print their own replicas of fossils based on X-ray scans of the originals. One of the most famous fossils to be scanned is Lucy, a human relative that died around 3.2 million years ago. Now, researchers think they've figured out how Lucy died, by falling out of a tree. To convince other scientists, they've released 3D scans of Lucy's arms, shoulders, and knees, which all show signs of her possible accident. I sent the scans to a 3D printing workshop here in London, and they've been printing all night. Now I'm going to go pick them up. Hello. Hey. Hey, I'm Ewan. Hey, welcome to Skills and Models. So, how'd the print go? Yeah, they look great. I had a sneaky peek this morning. So. You ever printed a fossil before? Never printed a fossil. No, this is a definitely a first. Well, you got a very important fossil in there. Oh, hello, Lucy. It'll be exciting to see these more closely. What, what happens next? OK, so what you're currently seeing is a kind of glossy, hard print, which is this sort of white area. And underneath that, you've got this um, more kind of jelly-like support material. So what we'll do is we'll whip these off the print bed. We'll go clean off that dissolvable jelly support material. And then you'll have your nice, clean, high-resolution prints to take a look at. So cool. Can't wait to see what a scientist thinks of this, but awesome. Here we've got Lucy's bones, which is really exciting. And now we're going to take them to a scientist across town, and she's going to look at them and see what they say about how Lucy might have died. Maria Martinon Torres is a paleoanthropologist at University College London. She's especially interested in looking for signs of injury in fossils like Lucy. Hello. Hello. I've got some bones for you. Oh, that's great. What a beautiful present. It's Lucy, fresh out of the 3D printer. Oh my god, Lucy herself. Really? Can I? Yeah. Oh, Please, yeah. <laughs> Lucy, what do we have here? Yeah. Ooh. I thought that was an arm bone. Was I right? Yeah, Lucy. Okay. It is the right bone, so it's really your and in the thing you have here, a little fragment of the scapula. Uh-huh. So... That's the shoulder. Yeah, so this is shoulder, so this would go like here. So this is the way the arm would go Okay. in little Lucy. But this is nice to really see Lucy, you know, to have her in my hands. That's, that's great. You read this paper that kind of argues that Lucy felt, died falling out of a tree and they've released these, you know, these, these models that we've 3D printed to, to, so other researchers can look at them and see what they think. They identified in their long bones, in the arms and, and in the legs, some type of fractures that really mimic the fractures that a person would have if really falls from a high place and really has this instinct movement to break, protect yourself by extending <laughs> your arms. So these type of fractures are called a compressed fracture and what you really have is that literally the bone is going to be like squash. You can really see here perfectly how the head has been you yeah. know, overposing over the mid shaft. Also, you can see here in the shaft of the arm bone uh -huh. is this an S spiral. All of them are really compatible with an interpretation of a compressive fracture. In, in a way, they're really applying, uh, I would say, like modern forensic approach, but in this case, to a corpse that belongs to three million years ago or more in time. And just talking about 3D printing, I mean, we got sent some files by the researchers and they're going to be available for anyone in the world to download. Is it going to change your field of, of paleoanthropology and paleontology? Definitely, I think it can change. You know, there is this whole new world of virtual anthropology. You know, they are really able of studying fossils without really having to touch the real thing. Fossils are unique, they are very rare, and they are very difficult to find and they are very fragile. In this way, we all have the possibility of touching, of understanding, or making reproductions, like in a forensic way, to see how a bone, for example, would fracture. So we really have the 3D models. And then for teaching purposes, you know, for education, is very, very important. You know, anatomy is something visual, it's something 3D. You may spend a lot of time looking to an anatomy book or an encyclopedia, 
but all those lessons can really compress by having the real thing. So I think it's really gonna shape the research in human evolution in the coming years. I think it's great. Mm -hmm.